Hello and welcome to Droix. Following on from our unboxing and overview video of the Droix Proteus Mini PC, we are today taking a closer look at the G4 and G7 models. We will be running a series of system and gaming benchmarks to see the differences in performance. Let's first take a very brief look at the technical specifications if you missed them in the first video. The G4 model runs the Intel i5 processor and the G7 as the Intel i7. Both have 4 cores and 8 threads. The G7 runs at a higher base and maximum frequency than the G4. Both have the Intel Iris Plus graphics, with the G7 running at a slightly higher maximum speed. Both models are using the same 32GB DDR4 RAM and 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD, so we should not see a massive difference in RAM and SSD performance. The i7 processor will naturally be faster, but by how much? Before we get to the benchmarks, we wanted to mention that you can buy both the Droix Proteus G4 and G7 from us at droix.co.uk. You can use the discount code PROTEUS5 for a 5% discount off the Droix Proteus range. Passmark tests the processor graphics, memory and storage to its limits to give an artificial maximum performance rating. This is useful to directly compare the performance of both devices under full load. The Droix Proteus G4 scores 3087. It has average scores in the CPU and graphics and very good scores for memory and storage speeds. The Proteus G7 scores 3338. It also has average scores on CPU and graphics and very good for memory and storage. There is a score difference of around 9% which is roughly what we was expecting. The fast 3200MHz RAM and NVMe SSD definitely help to keep both devices running very fast. PC Mark tests the system on more day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing, working with large office documents, video conferencing, media playing and much more. It gives a more accurate performance view of tasks most people would use a mini PC for. The G4 scores 4113 which is very good and above average compared to other mini PCs we have tested. The Droix Proteus G7 scores a higher 4422. This gives us around a 7% difference. Working with large documents, for example, will be very painless on both models, thanks to the memory and storage speeds running with the fast Intel processors. 3D Mark tests the integrated Intel Iris Plus graphics. And as always, graphics processors are not just for gaming, they are also used for everything from web browser rendering, media consumption and video and image editing. The Proteus G4 scores an extremely impressive 765, one of the best scores recorded for this configuration of mini PC. The Proteus G7 scores an equally impressive 973. Again, near the range of best scores recorded for this configuration. This gives us a score difference of around 24%, which is quite a jump despite both having high scores for their configurations. We can see that the extra processing power and slightly faster graphics frequencies are coming into play. Diskmark tests the NVMe storage for its performance over a series of reading and writing tests. Both the Droix Proteus G4 and G7 scores are similar, around 2450 megs for reading and 1990 megs for writing speeds. As expected, there is barely any difference as the same performance RAM and SSD are used in the devices. 
Not only are the Drawex Proteus G4 and G7 great for boring home and office work, you can sneak in a few games during your lunch break. These benchmarks are run at 1920 by 1080 using maximum graphic settings to really stress both devices. Normally you would run them at a more reasonable graphic settings such as medium. We start with the Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker benchmark. This expansion is out later this year so we can get a good look at performance with future releases. The G4 scores 2080 with a slightly low performance rating. The G7 scores a considerably higher 2545 but again with a slightly low rating. This gives us a score difference of around 20% which is in line with 3D Mark differences. Here we are comparing Street Fighter V running at maximum quality settings which is very demanding. Starting the match at the same video frame we can see that the G4 starts with an average of 21.43 frames per second and the G7 with 26.35. Over the course of the match you can see the G4 lag behind the G7 due to the lower frame rate. By the end of the match the G4 scores an average of 21 frames per second and the G7 scores 25. This gives us a difference of around 19%, again keeping in line with other tests. Time to sum everything up now with a recap of the tests and comparisons. As expected, the Intel i7 processor would naturally be faster than the i5. We can see in the Passmark and PCMark system benchmarks that there is around an average of 8% increase in performance. The graphics and gaming benchmarks are where the largest differences are, with an average 21% difference across the 3D Mark, Final Fantasy XIV and Street Fighter V benchmarks. Comparing the prices based on 32GB of RAM and 1TB SSD, the G4 costs $629.95 and G7 costs $699.95. That's around a 10% difference, which is about right compared to the overall benchmark results. Both the Droix Proteus G4 and G7 Mini PCs are excellent performers for day-to-day -day tasks, whether it be in the home office or as an office mini PC. Both will perform well when working with large office documents, especially loading and saving thanks to the fast RAM and storage. You will see a difference in performance between the two models, but not by a massive amount. It is when you start to work more in the media side that you will definitely see a difference in performance. If you work with images or video editing for example, the extra 20% boost in power will get your task done considerably faster. And in your downtime, you can definitely enjoy some light gaming. Both devices perform well in games with reasonable settings. You can enjoy a wide range of games, but you will of course need to lower the graphics settings as per the requirements. We hope that you have found this Proteus G4 and G7 comparison video useful in deciding which one is best for you. Don't forget you can use the discount code PROTEUS5 when ordering from Droix for a 5% discount. That wraps up this Droix Proteus comparison video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already and we hope to see you back in our next video.